Luis Roman Montoya is my guest. Uh, we left off and we're just going to start talking about a situation uh, last year. Yes. Uh, you went down to Mexico. What happened? A lot of things happened there in Mexico. Um, just me and my family was great. I was having fun. I was coming back, like, I'll tell you a backstory why sure. I left to Mexico. Last year, I ran from Ottawa to Hamilton with Frederick Dryden, or the CEO of Liberty for Youth. And we're going to learn more about Liberty for Youth in just a moment, by the way, but yeah, continue on. Um, I was going through a lot of stuff in my life. I was uh, failing. I lost a lot of people, good people, and I was just depressed. I didn't know what to do, so I, I told my mom, you know what, I just got to go. I got to clear my head and then come back and see where I left off and then carry on. Do so you that. feel like you blew it at that point? Yeah, okay. I felt like I failed everybody just because everybody thought, oh, Luis is doing all these great things, but he's still doing the same things he was doing before, you know? So I left Mexico on December 21st, 2017, I left. And Mexico is like great, like I said, nice weather. Yeah, amazing <laughs> yeah, weather. Yeah, especially in the winter time. You know? And I was there and then, like I was with my cousin and we we're just walking down the street. We're in the bad part of Mexico, Mexico, Mexico City. We're just walking and car pulls up. I didn't know these people. And they start shooting at us. Out of the blue, they start shooting at us. What? Did you ever find out why? No, I, to this day I haven't Mistaken found out Mistaken you for drug dealers or something? Or rival gang know. or something, okay. Probably rival gang, I don't know. Um, I just walking, I got, we got shot at, I got, I ducked. Oh. I ducked like right away. Something tell me to duck, I ducked. And once I ducked, like I looked back at my cousin's boyfriend, he was 15 at the time, would have been 16 tomorrow. Uh, he got shot oh. and I told my cousin, go call an ambulance, call everybody, your boyfriend's about to, he's dying right here. And I held him on my arms and he said, you know, I wish I was you. You had all the ability to change and you change and that's all he said. What did that do for you? What, what were you thinking about at that point? I was like, that could have been me if I didn't do anything that would have been me. I was like saying, if I would have pushed them out of the way, I would have got shot, I would have got killed. That would have been me. I was trying to figure out what to do or what not to do and what to say to my cousin about her boyfriend. And not a lot of thoughts coming into my mind, it's like, I don't know what to do here. So you, you come back to Canada. Uh, how are things going at that point? Have you recommitted yourself? I know you, you accepted the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important that we understand that there's going to be some fallbacks at times. Yeah. You know, not it's like I came to Jesus and everything was great. That's not always the case. Mm -hmm. But obviously you started to understand the grace of God. So tell me what happened when you came home. When I came home, I was relieved that I was still alive. Um, after what happened in Mexico, I told my mom, my family, my friends, Liberty for Youth, and they were all there. They were all help, helping me throughout the way. And I was just like realizing that God kept me here for a reason. He wants me to help youth. He wants me to help a lot of people in life. Just because I did something doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I've been through so much. I've come, like come near death experiences so many times in my life. I would have been dead already. But right now, it's just like a blessing that God kept me here. Cliff Simon, who we're going to meet in just a moment, is one of your mentors. Tell me how important Cliff, the other people there, Liberty for Youth in Hamilton, how has that helped you in your life? Oh, and they helped me through a lot, like a lot of stuff. Um, when I got sent to jail, they helped me. They're helping me right now um, to get into school for Bible studies next, this September coming up. Um, Cliff is like my be biggest mentor. So I met him first when he came to my house to pick me up on the first day I met him. I knew that he was a great guy. He was an amazing person, you know. Everything around him is good about him. Well, the mentoring process is so important and thank you for sharing your story with me, Luis. Thank you. And what do you want to do with the rest of your life? I want to be a youth pastor. Youth pastor, yes. I love it. Yep. Well, thank you for being on the program today. Appreciate you sharing your heart. And, you know, if uh, you're a parent and uh, you have a teen that is struggling, there is hope. We look at uh, Luis's life and, and all the wonderful people that are being helped by uh, ministries right across this country. And uh, we all have prayer partners standing by. They'll connect you uh, with groups that can help. 1-866-273-4444.